Will we ever know if the presidential election results in Iran are a true reflection of voters' wishes? The government says Mahmoud Ahmadinejad was re-elected with 66 percent of the vote. Opposition leader Mir Hussein Mousavi got just 33 percent. While Iran appeared to have the trappings of an American-style campaign, the differences are stark. Candidates are approved by a 12-member body called the Guardian Council. Half of the members are picked by the Supreme Leader, which is the highest-ranking political and religious authority in Iran. The other half are lawyers voted in by the parliament. This year, the Guardian Council approved four candidates and rejected three. All Iranians over 16 are eligible to vote, and the winner must win a majority of all votes cast. If no one gets more than half of the votes, a runoff takes place a week later. The results have been questioned because votes in Iran traditionally follow ethnic and regional lines. Strangely, Mousavi lost the capital of his home province. Ahmadinejad won Tehran, even though he's considered less popular in big cities. Reform candidate Mehdi Karabi lost his home province and got less than 1% of the total. Four years ago, he got 17 percent. There are also questions about the speed of the vote count. Voters cast nearly 40 million handwritten paper ballots, but the results were released in a matter of hours. And officials have not released detailed election data, which they normally do. Mousavi has complained that some polling places closed early and his election watchers were thrown out of polling stations. The government's announcement that it will begin a limited recount may not calm the protests and violence. No international monitors were allowed to observe the election, and the real truth of who won may never be known. Matt Friedman, The Associated Press.